look what is loading up here. I think I'm going to do a little bit of Dwarf Fortress. Um, probably not going to be too many videos. I'm definitely not starting a new playlist. Uh, I'm... I'm... I'm probably just going to stick to adventure mode, and if I do a fortress, it's going to be a very short one. I'll be cutting out a lot, I won't be covering nearly as much as I normally do. But, for the time being, um, I just, I'm kind of in a dwarf fortress mood. I wanted to play it, um, I saw that the Mega Mix mod had been updated, so I have downloaded and installed that along with Phobius, um, his tile pack. So, we're going to be doing all of that. I've got a huge world generated. Um, I'm probably going to have the links provided in the description below, if I can remember to put them up. And, um, let's just start. Um, the, f the world we're going to be playing in is Malip Vavad Hole. It is a huge world. Um, no, I won't look at the world map. We're just going to jump right into adventure mode. The world map, um... It's quite large. It's a, a large region generated only for 200 some years because it takes forever to generate a world with the Mega Mix pack. It takes about 30 minutes to generate um, a large region. There is a lot it has to go through, I guess. <clears throat> but you'll see the, the huge number of races that are available. There's thousands of items throughout the world. Hundreds of minerals, rocks, stones, trees, plants, everything is merged together. It's a complete disaster. There's, um, it doesn't make any sense at all, but it's still hilarious and fun. You can see the world map over here. There's tons of evil regions and good regions scattered around the world. I upped those stats whenever I was generating the world there. Of course, I gotta tweak everything. And you can see all of the, um, character races over here. There's... A bean, whatever that is. I don't know if that's some type of plant. They have a small empire over on the uh, the northwest there. You got humans, goblins, gypsies. Tons of various elves, enlightened humans. Elves and human races seem to be the two most prolific um, throughout all of the merged mods, I guess. You got wastelanders and space pirates. The space pirates have a lone starport in the middle of the jungle in the north. And the Wastelanders are up in the northeast. Maybe we'll be them. There's also a, a small Moogle empire that lives right at the base of some evil mountains in a forest region, it looks like. You got ponies, drow, wizards, angels. You even have sand raiders. Are they based out of... Looks like they're based out of an evil desert, maybe. A sinister desert. You have sex demons, Diomedian ponies, necromancers, dracomancers, half dozen, a full dozen set of goblins, of various types. None of them have a very big empire though. There shouldn't be very, none of the empires should be that big. There hasn't been a whole lot of world history. 200 years isn't really enough for all of them to spread out. <clears throat> but you can see tons of different races to choose from. Illithids, werewolves, gorgons, tigermen, and all of the outsiders that didn't make the cut. You can just pause it and look through the list yourself. We're not going to be any of the outsiders just yet. Red dragons, frost worms, tons of stuff. Um, shy guys, koopas, goombas, Hyrulean outsi outsiders. <sighs> we're actually going to be a moogle. That's what we're going to be. We're going to be... A demigod Moogle. We're not gonna gonna skimp on the skill points here because this world is a harsh world. We're probably going to die. None, nothing is balanced for each other. Everything has just been thrown in there, like I said. So there, don't think that there's any balance anywhere. We could run into invincible creatures quite easily. We're gonna do toughness. We're gonna bump all those up as high as they can go, and endurance so that we can last. Some of these fights might be quite a while. And creativity, maybe to make our attacks with our weapon more creative. Uh, I think that we will be a pike moogle right here. And we're going to put, we're going to be an accomplished pike moogle. We know how to wield a pike. We served in numerous, numerous battles with our moogle kin. 
We're gonna use a shield. Put that up to eight. Just kind of bump all of these up. I want a few points in, you know, wrestling, striking, kicking, and biting. Because it's only a matter of time before we get entangled wrestling something. So, we'll bump wrestling up to seven there. Spend all of our skill points. And we are Sakaroto Craft Trammeled. Um, let's look for a good Moogle name. I'm not actually sure what a good Moogle name would, would be. Kupo Pop Rocks or something? I guess I could put in a custom name. Two Righteous, Youth Portal, Pure Mouth, Rope Trail. And the, the Moogles need their own language file, I think. Blameless on to Covebent. It doesn't really matter because this character is going to die fairly quickly. We'll be Momasa Brightness Town there. And um, let's just jump into the world and see where we start. You finally got your equipment together such as it is. Now it's time for action and adventure. In the rush of excitement, you've forgotten where you were going to go, however. Perhaps some of your friends here have ideas? So here we are, you can see our little dwarfy icon. Most of the characters will not have their own custom tile. Tiles might not match up, things could be glitched out and bugged. Um, that's just what happens whenever everything gets merged together. So we walk into the building here, and look at all these M's, they're all Moogles. We started in a Moogle village. Here's Jun Yujitaro, a small rabbit-like creature fond of mechanics and tinkering. They possess a pair of small bat-like wings and a colorful pom-pom connected to their head by an antenna. <clears throat> so all creatures have their, their descriptions that the mod author wanted to set up. Pretty fancy. We'll be running into some very strange things. But we're going to talk to June here. It is good to see you. Don't travel alone unless you want the boogeyman to get you. Oh, well, yes, you know, I'm heading out on a journey soon to claim my Moogle-hood rights. Um, what can you tell me about the surrounding area? Wallow Demon is nearly a day's travel to the southwest. Um, Nagak Lakes, Lake Bunyan's the bog trolls there. Some say he's got decent treasures. Where's the capital of, of our Moogle Empire? Urn Whispers is a short walk to the south. Onorika Routed Auras is there. Tell me a little bit more about the surroundings. This will put locations on our map. The Angelic Hills is a day's travel to the east. That place is blessed. Brittle cows roam freely out there. And what else do we have around the region? The ungodly steppe is a day's travel to the northwest. In the early spring of 149, the yet exhaust greatest poems, the strategic hardiness of smiling, begin wandering around there. Um, actually, I don't want to quit talking to June just yet. We're gonna try to get a job from her. Is there any work around the area? While I'm out on my journey, a beast from the wilds has been harassing our people. Fail Abyss is a short walk to the north. Seek this place and kill Mid Passage Brides, the Calvarian Evil Scythe. I have no idea what that is, but it doesn't sound very friendly. So let's see where we're going. That is pretty close to the north, right here in the. Wow. They have a very large empire, or a very large city right there. These golden buildings are, are shops. So all of those are merchants. I'm gonna have to check out those, uh, I'm gonna have to check that city out a little bit better, I think. And we just need to go straight north, right there it is. It's cloudy over the layer, rainy and foggy. And I think that the layer is straight north. You, know, you can see the rain coming down. We'll tiptoe through here. Oh wow, look at that. What is this stuff? Looks like dead dwarfs. It's a rough hewn face stone wall. There's Holly right there. I don't know all of the icons yet. A rough hewn face stone wall. So, what is this? A carved wall? Does that mean there's a. His entrance is around here somewhere, maybe? North, northwest. That's east. Not sure if we're looking. This is what we're looking for. You can smell it. There's a scent coming out of this tunnel here. 
we begin sneaking. We are in the forest of spiraling. What is this? I gotta find out what all these icons are. This is a rough hewn fire orb cluster, that white zero below us. Rough hewn stone face. This is rough hewn capacitor clusters. There's technology embedded in the stone from long lost civilizations. Ages long since forgotten. Might be useful in a fortress mode. And I think we've been spotted by the Calvarian Ebel Scythe. I am mid passage brides, prepared to die. We've been spotted. Is this him right next to us? It is. It's got a blade and a handle. It's a magic Ebel Scythe. Okay. Created by the Ebel Zorbak. He was disappointed by their back talking temperaments and banished them. So these are ancient abandoned magic weapons that have taken to pillaging the landside apparently. Relics of war. No longer needed or cared for. We're gonna aim and attack. It's gonna be hard to hit because it's a slow, it's, I mean, it's a, a small, fast moving weapon. We're gonna swing at the blade. It's a tricky strike. We can punch the blade. Simple direct hit. Let's punch it. We punch the blade with our right hand. We collide and tumble backwards. We try to grasp onto it, hold it down. We now have an easy square strike on the blade. We're going to stab at it. We stab it in the blade with the cap steel pike. We chip it. This is going to be... Um, interesting. I'm not sure how you kill a halberd. We're going to have to snap the hilt here. We aim at the handle. And we hit it, chipping the wood handle. What else do we have here? I guess go tricky again. We stab it in the blade, fracturing it. I don't know if we can kill these. We punch, kick, and stab at it, bash it. We bite it in the handle, denting it. We latch on firmly, it finally stands back up. We stab it in the handle again, and then we ram into it, slamming it into the wall. We grab it by the handle and start shaking it around, trying to dig it into the wall there. <clears throat> All the while, we're stabbing it with our pike and twisting it around. So we're holding it and stabbing it, and finally we stab it in the handle and it f fractures and splinters. Sparks and magic shoot all over the place, and the Ebel Scythe has been struck down. There it is. There's the blade, there's the handle. You know what? Weighs 66. I think that's a lot, actually. They both weigh 66. I would pick them up take them with me to get crafted or repaired somewhere and be my magic halberd slave, but I don't use halberds, and it's heavier than I want to carry around anyways. So our first mark has been taken down, an ancient artifact of war that will no longer harm anyone else ever again. We're, we will return back to our village then. Looks like we have a fortress to the northwest of our of our. I guess I shouldn't say village, it's a hamlet. Quite massive one at that. And we have a fortress to the southeast. So there are places to go get Moogle recruits if we need them. Provided they're still being garrisoned. And it's raining here too. Another miserable day on the surface. Hey look, there's Moogles. There's an Aspen Weaponsmith's shop sign. So all the weapons a Moogle could ever want are in here. Hello, peasant. Greetings. Ah, uh, hello. I'm I'm Banner Drunken. Welcome to the Scoured Nails. Don't travel alone at night, or the boogeyman will get you. We'll report our success. This is fantastic. May mid-passage brides rot forever in the underworld. You should have brought him back to our weapon shop, however. We would have repaired him for you. Blah, blah, blah. Damn it, curse it. Oh, well. Um... You know what, we'll try to stay here for the day. It would be terrible to leave someone to fend for themselves. We'll help guard the shop throughout the night. We'll take a shift for an hour or two. And let's take a job from them while we're here. At times, creeping things slither out from below ground. Worry scarred the cactus of yawning as a half day's travel to the southwest. Seek this place and kill Hall Seas Councils, the Blue Bubble. Beware the stray cactuars. Um, what can you tell me about the surrounding area? Trussell Law is a half day's travel to the west. 
In the mid-spring of 141, the Mughal Kambushu Magic Morning was struck down by a draconian in Trussell Law. And the long war began. Well, goodbye. We'll sleep here until dawn. Seeing as how the day was getting long from our journey anyways. And then we'll start planning our next course of action depending on how far away this place actually is. <sighs> Let me slurp into the microphone for a second. It can't pick up my voice very well, but it picks up every time I take a drink of something. So we're awake, we're stunned, and um, let's see, where are we going? Kill Hall Seas Councils. He is all the way over there to the southwest. Not that close. I'm actually going to go alone, though. We're not going to go to one of the castles just yet. I think that we can do this journey by ourselves. We'll probably die, and that's fine. Sometimes that's what happens on a hero's journey. I'm going to keep going to the southwest here, through the woods. We are currently in the continent of Wads and the forest of Spiraling. I don't know how many continents there are. Or if this is the only one. We may actually have to sleep in this beast's lair. If it has one. The sun is about to set. And we need to make it across this river quick. There's the lair. We make it just as the sun sinks low in the western sky. How do I... Actually, hang on. How do I check the temperature? Is it... Shift W? There we go. The sky is above you in a uniform and dark gray. The sun is low in the western sky behind the clouds. And there is a cool breeze blowing in from the west. And it is raining once again. Our Mughal pom-pom drips with, with a wet dew. So we slowly sneak and make our way towards the beast's lair right here. It's at the base of a tree. It's freshly dug. And as we turn the corner, the blue bubble oozes after us. Actually, it doesn't yet. But now we do. Now it does. The blue bubble is caught in a burst of blue bubble flames. We step backwards. Did it kill itself? I don't think so. It's caught in another burst of blue bubble flames. Um, I'm gonna actually backtrack here just for a moment. Is it... Is it gonna kill itself? Oh, no it's not, damn it. A large flying skull surrounded by, by blue flames. Its skull is plump, its flames are plump, and it's bearing down after us. No telling what fuels this devilish monstrosity. We step forward and it steps forward to meet us face to face in the hallway. We raise our pike. A difficult strike on the body. We could go for a wing, but we can't land it squarely. We're gonna stab at a wing. We charge at it and slam into it. It's caught in a burst of its own flames. We stab it in the right wing, breaking away the flames. We collide and are knocked over. I think it's knocked over. Um, we're gonna go for a left wing. Even though we can't land it squarely, a normal strike is still a decent chance to hit. We stab at the flames and uh, we're caught in a burst of flames now, damn. We roll to the south here, trying to get out of being roasted alive. Impossible strike, that'd be normal. Left wing, easy. We stab at it again. This might not work. We stab at it and break away the rest of the flames and fracture the bone. So we broke through its defenses here. It's an extreme pain. It's on the ground. We might have actually caused some damage to it. We're gonna stab at the body. We stab at it, but it rolls to the side. Spraying flames as it goes. We stab at the body again. It scrambles away and stands up. We stab at the wing, and we're caught in a burst of blue flame. <clears throat> we break away the flames. We roll to the east. Let's see, we can bite it. I'm gonna bite the bastard. We bite it in blue flames and latch on tightly. It stands up. Um, you know what? We've got another, a simple strike, fairly solid, direct hit. We're gonna stab it. We break away the rest of the flames and fracture the bone there. It sprays more flames. I'm not gonna keep biting it. We charge. Ah, oh, damn, we're partially paralyzed. 
caught up in the cloud of flames there. We roll back. It rolls back. It stands up and we sit here and dust ourselves off. Let's look at us. We're kind of fine. We're partially paralyzed. We're drowsy. <sighs> We're incredibly muscular. We have white fur and our eyes are pitch black. And the beast is charging back after us. We raise our pike. And I'm going to go for the right wing. We stab at it again. Breaking away the rest of the flames. We collide and tumble over and blue flames engulf the entire room. We chase it back down the hallway. I gotta go for a body shot here. We miss it. We stab at it again. I'm just gonna keep kind of walking into it here. We attack it, but it jumps to the side. We fall to the ground and stand back up. We're gonna be burned alive here. I don't know if it's actually cooking us or not. We stab it in the right wing. It sprays more flames. It is slowing us down. Here. My attack preference, I don't want to charge at it. I just want to strike at it. Our dodge preference is to stand our ground. And our charge defense is to stand our ground now. I just want to swing at this thing. It stands back up. We charge after it. As a difficult, fairly solid, we stab at it and miss it. We need to get a body blow. We swing at it again, and it jumps away. We stab it in the left wing, knocking off some flames. And we stab at it in the right wing. Damn, it rolls to the side. It bites us in the right lower leg. And latches on firmly. We break the grip of its maw on our lower leg. Rolling to the side, we raise our pike. <clears throat> and it bruises our muscle by biting us in the gut. We break its grip. We're bleeding lightly on our lower body and our leg. Damn it. I've only got fiber and leather on her. I have a large ice dagger, but I'm not skilled in dagger usage. We're bleeding. I really need to... Damn it, I need to get a good hit on its body. We attack, but it jumps to the side. Okay, we're gonna start dodging around just a bit. Easier strike, fairly solid. We bash it, breaking away the rest of the flames. It's caught in the blue flames. Man, back to difficult. We swing and miss at it. Jump back and raise our pike. Tricky square attack. We stab at it and fracture the bone. It pushes us in the right lower arm, but the attack is deflected finally by our dog leather cloak. We could scratch it in the chest. Tricky square, let's do it. We try to scratch it, but miss. We get hit with just the dashing of blue flames. It pushes us in the left upper arm. We're gonna climb back out here, back out of the tunnel into the rain, bring it topside here. We do a little circle dance with it, and it closes in and gets the first attack. It uh, pushes us in the right lower leg, but it's deflected. Let's see, what do we have? A simple strike, we bash it, and then we're caught in the flames. I don't know if I can kill this thing. It's in extreme pain. We're caught in the flames, it's caught in the flames. I guess I'm just going to start stabbing at it. Repeatedly, until one of us goes down. It pushes us in the lower body, but the attack is deflected. All we're doing is batting at it and knocking off fire. It hisses at us again. We're caught in a burst of blue flames. We bite it and latch on and shake it around by the right wing, but the attack is apparently deflected. Man. Maybe this thing can't die. It gives up and starts running away, though. We catch up to it and stab at it from behind. We have a normal strike square on its body. We stab, breaking away the rest of the flames and shattering the bone. We've got it wore down a little bit, I think. Difficult strike. We miss. Roll to the side. Try to roll, get behind it. Difficult strike, I guess we'll take that. We miss, it pushes us in the lower body. We break off the attack and it tries to get away. We run up behind it. 
Dang it. I'm hoping that if we run it behind it, we'll get an easy strike again on the body, but we have an easy strike on the wing. <clears throat> we swing at it and break away some flames. Man. What do we have? We can scratch it. We swing at it, but it jumps away. Let's try to wrestle this thing, then. We're gonna grab it with the left hand. We're gonna grab its body. We try to grab on, but it jumps to the side. Uh, let's try that again. Grab it. We're gonna grab the body right there. We try to grasp onto it, but all we get is flames in our hands. Okay, then stab at it once. It jumps to the side again around behind a tree. We peer around, and it pushes us in the upper leg, but it's deflected. Well, if I can't kill this thing, I may have to call it a, a stalemate. We chase it back down into its lair here, stabbing at it from above. Looks like we broke off its right wing. We stab it in the body. Yeah, there's its wing right there. It hisses at us, begging for a truce. We take off after it, chasing it to the south through the rain. Guess I'm just gonna—I'm gonna just keep running into it here. We fight it out with mushrooms all around us up in the forest here. It's a fungus forest. All we caught off its other wing now. All it has is its body. <clears throat> it can't fly. We try to scratch it, but it jumps to the side. Um. Well, let's change my attack preference here. We are going to charge at it and stand our ground. There we go. We collide and tum it tumbles backwards. Maybe we can pin it down on the ground. We bite it in the right wing and the severed part sells off. I thought I already took its wing off. Maybe not. We bash it in the body with the shaft of our, our steel cap. Normal strike, very square. We stab at it and shatter the bone. This might actually be the way to do it. Charge it. We shake it around by the body, breaking away the rest of the body's flames. Surely there can't be much left now. We slam it down on the ground, charging it again. Breaking away more flames there. Good lord. This thing is a beast. This is too much for one Moogle. I should have brought some friends. I'll definitely swing by the, uh, by the fortress after this fight. Swing at it and miss again. Well, this is going to be good for my skills, I guess. Difficult strike, fairly solid. Stab at it. We push it pushes us in the left upper leg, but the attack is deflected. We're partially paralyzed still, drowsy. Our right upper, our right lower leg is cut apart. We've got heavy bruising on all of our body, heavy bruising on our skin. We're still an adequate, we're a great pikeman now. Adequate armor user. <clears throat> Good lord, this fight's gone on for far too long. And I think it died there. Finally, how did that end? Is there a way to check my messages? I know there is, I just forgot how. We stab the blue bubble in the body, breaking away the rest of the flames, shattering the bone, breaking away the brain's flames, and shattering the brain's bone, finally. That was one insanely long fight. The sky above us is a uniform and dark gray. We, I, I, we better not leave yet. We're going to have to spend the night in this thing's lair. Plus, I do want to check it out and see if he's managed to steal anything over the years. No, he didn't. Unfortunately, I can't sleep until dawn because I don't know when dawn is. So we're just going to sleep for eight hours down here and hope we're safe from the boogeyman. I could have tried to journey back to town, but I'm fairly positive the boogeyman would have got me. We regain consciousness and stand up. So let's see. There are no traces of sunlight here. We stand on the ramp, and it is raining. There is a cool breeze blowing from the west. We head up, and it is nighttime. Okay. Let's go back in here before we alert the boogeyman. We will sleep for... How about... 
four hours. We just lay down in the beast's tunnel, listening to strange noises from the forest echo down through its entrance through the night. And it's daytime now. So we need to head back to the northeast. And I wonder what this is right here. Wallow Demon Camp. So some type of evil camp is right there. I think that's what one of the camps we were told about. Um, if we ever get enough friends, we might head down there and try to clear them out for our Moogle buddies. Otherwise, we're not heading that way. So we take off early in the morning. I can't, I can't check the weather report here, but it looks like it's about noon. The sun is high in the sky. And the forest is peaceful on our journey through it. Apparently it's not an evil forest or anything like that. The Moogles have lucked out with their location. What do we got here? The small town of Bird Strumpet. And we pull into Mirror Cried, just as the sun is setting. Now to find a house. Here's one. There's a couple of them. Oh, we lay down and crawl inside and buddy up with all of our Moogle family here. Here's a carpenter. Do you mind if we stay here, friend? I am Arrow Renowned Banner. Can I be of some help? We've killed many evil beasts. I know you can handle yourself, but be careful out there. Do you mind if we stay for the day? It'd be terrible to leave someone to fend for themselves after sunset. And we'll report our news here. This is fantastic. May Hall Seas Councils rot forever in the underworld. Um, you know, we'll take one more job from him. And we're also going to make our way to a fortress after this. Even if we don't go directly for this mission. At least we'll have something we can do. A particular outlaw has been causing us much hardship. How hates as a half day has traveled to the southwest. Seek this place and kill Almgo. Weaver flies. The goblin maceman. He's probably going to put up a little bit of a fight. We're going to sleep until dawn though. Pass a little bit of time telling stories and doing dances with our Moogle friends. Unfortunately, we haven't found any treasures in our journey to trade away. And I don't know what I would want from a, a carpenter shop anyways. So we stand up, walk to the edge here. And uh, let's get out of here. Our next location takes us far to the southwest. I think we're going to go to the southeast first and check out this fortress. See if there's any Moogles there. We will recruit a few and talk to the leader there. There it is. It comes into view. Still rainy, miserable region here. Oh, that is not a good sign. Outside the fortress gates are a bunch of side hoppers running around. Holy shit, something just shot at us. The Raichu is caught in a burst of thunderbolts. Is this a Raichu? Yes. When electricity builds up inside its body, it becomes feisty. It also glows in the dark. I think it's charging after us. Yes, it does its dance as we move around it. And we're gonna have to spear it. We have an easy strike on its hand. We stab at it, it jumps to the side. We raise our pike back, and we're going to go for a left arm. We swing at it, but it jumps to the side. Actually, I need to switch my stuff. Here. I'm going to switch our attack preference to strike. And let's go for the right arm. We stab at it, and we tear through the fat. It lodges in its arm. It breathes thunderbolt at us. Apparently, we just shrug it off. We twist our, our steel pike around. Let's go for a leg, maybe we can immobilize the beast. We stab it in the left leg, tearing through the fat, it lodges in. It attacks us in the left foot, bruising the muscle through the spider's silk shoe. I don't have any good shots on its body, I do have one on its arm there. We can kick at it. It bruises the muscle, it attacks us and bruises our muscle. And we're just gonna swing at it, we chop its arm off. We stab it in the right foot, I mean. 
Then the foot sells off. The beast still lays there and attacks us, and we finally strike it down. What is that? We have a rat, a rata, a ratata. Okay, I know what these are then. And a side hopper there. The rata bites us and latches on firmly. So this Moogle village is being assaulted by a bunch of Pokemon. There's a turkey. I would love to get inside here, but there's a lot of wildlife. A side hopper and a rata. Okay, we can take down the side hopper, I think. We move next to the side hopper, and. Hmm. Tricky, tricky. Let's go for the leg. We stab at it, chipping the chitin. Our spike lo our pike lodges in the wound. We punch it, and it slams into our lower body, bruising the muscle and bruising the right kidney. The rata takes off running. We're gonna aim for. It doesn't have a body. It has a head, legs, and mandibles. This thing is nasty. We punch at it, and we've been struck down. Damn. I should not have messed with a side hopper. It slams into us, slamming into our head with our left, with its left foot, bruising our muscle and bruises our brain. And the bruising kills us. So that was the tale of Momasa the Moogle, who bit off more than he could chew there. I think I'm going to do a couple more adventurer characters, though. I don't know um, what type of character we'll do. I might do another Moogle later on. But the next character will be something else interesting. We'll see what they run into, what is around their region, and just how far they can make it before being struck down by something incredibly, incredibly overpowered and violent.